messed up that pocket reload. Skinny little mags. Four three five. Last one was four oh eight. Okay, what are we doing here today? Oh, besides, you know, looking like kind of a moron trying to practice single stack reloads, I wanted to talk to you guys about this SG shot timer. Um, we're not gear reviewers, but you know, I've been running this for a while, and I came to a realization when I was recently looking to replace this timer. So um, SG has come out with a new timer that solves, I guess, the biggest complaint people have with this, with the original SG timer, is it isn't, the speaker isn't loud enough. Now, let me say that there's a little bit of caveat with that, with it not being loud enough. It's probably not loud enough if you're running a large class of people and you want, you know, people eight, eight stations down the line to hear your timer. You know, if you're an instructor, eh, that's probably gonna cause you a problem. Their new timer apparently solves that issue. But if you're by yourself, this timer is plenty allowed. If you have electronic hearing protection, just make sure your batteries are, uh, are you know, fully charged and you'll be able to hear the timer. Now, what I like about this timer, there's a lot that I like about this timer and I didn't really appreciate it until I went to replace it because like many of you, I'm like, ooh, SG has a new timer out. Let's Shooters Global and let's, this, it's got a lot of speakers. So I went to go look at it. It is cheaper and it's become apparent that they're not replacing this timer. They're just coming out with a less a less featured timer with a big loudspeaker on it. And I, I've never used it, I've never touched it, but just reading about it and looking at the description, I could tell the timer does something that I hate about most timers. Um, like I've run a pack timer for 20 years, over 20 years. Like it's what we all used. We end up getting them to use them here. It's the timer that I know, or I used to know. But the problem is, it's this stupid, it's 2024, okay? And with the way electronics are today, this idea of like one button up, one button down, push two buttons, hold one button, stand on one foot, you know, rub yourself on the head, to figure out these features on these timers, when you could have something that's fully menu driven, I hate that shit. I mean, I don't mean to, to be a dick on video, but I hate that. And what I really like about this timer, when I went to replace this timer, was the new SG timer is just one of those. And so, you know, it's like, well, let me look at this. I can I can easily scroll and I can, you know, I'll look at the, you know, I can look at my shots. I can even remember, like every, every session that I just recorded, it's got, you know, a session count. There's session, you know, 15, 14, 13. And I can go back, hit session, and I'll set 15, 14, 13, and I can go, okay, what was the what was the details and i shot a 374 on that like this is common sense it's not even the fact if you have a timer that will offer these kinds of features or adjust sensitivity or you know all the things that i like about this like i can get this timer to work with a suppressor i can get this timer to work with dry fire i can get this timer to work with all kinds of stuff in situations is that it's completely menu driven and it makes sense and so I guess I didn't really appreciate this timer completely until I was actually thinking about replacing it. And I started realizing, holy crap, I'm giving up a lot here. I don't want that new SG timer. I'm just gonna stick with this one. Now, let me give you some advice on, if you're thinking about getting one of these timers and you know, you're worried about not being loud enough, let's, well, you, you were hearing it beeping. So the speaker on this, it's a directional speaker. And so, it is noticeably louder if I was the timer is blasting to you, it's noticeably louder this way than it is this way. Well, there's a couple things you can do. If you're running this thing on your belt and it's, you know, maybe you're not quite hearing it or it's not quite loud enough, run it up here. You can also, uh, you know, take this thing, put it under your shirt, or maybe if you're wearing a, you know, a, a chest rig or something, you could clip it on a chest rig or clip it through or shirt of your clothing. It's really, it's really pretty interesting. And also what I think you could do is you could probably rig this up to put it on a stand or, you know, or, you know, actually even with, with them, since it's magnetized on the back, it will stick to vehicles. It'll stick to metal drums. 
we have plastic drum here, but you know, I can actually stick it to the side of the tundra because it'll actually stick to it. And if it, even if you're farther away from it, as long as the speaker's facing you, you're going to hear it. So you don't, you know, you didn't, you don't know what you've got till it's gone. And I almost didn't quite realize how good this was until I was thinking about getting rid of it. I'm keeping this timer. I'm not going to get the new SG timer. Um, it's loud enough for my uses. We're not running large classes out here. I do have a pack timer if we do need that for a large group. And, you know, I suggest you get one of these. I would recommend one of these for most individual people than the new cheaper timer that SG has. This thing really does a lot and it's pretty full featured. So we don't do reviews, but it long term, you know, we've been running this for a year or two. Really like it. Don't want to give it up. If I were to break this somehow, um, I'd buy another one. Well, if you want to see more stories or pictures, links, and stuff like this, please go to the website at john1911.com. That's J-O-H-N-1911.com. Remember, it's all about shooting guns and having fun, everybody. Have a good day.